Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today what I'm going to do is actually I got a few complaints that I haven't covered the attack move function uh, in the tutorial series. So I thought I would, uh, this is a quick video, I will show you how did I implement that part and right. So first I'll show the attack move function. So it's like this when I attack as you can see here this character moves a little bit forward like this so I'll show you how did I implement it first let me open my character right so here So this is my blueprint, animation blueprint and under notifiers I have, well let me, yeah here, I have this attack move notifier. Let me show you one animation that I am using that attack. No, not this one. Yeah, in this animation, I have this uh, attack move notifier called here. So when the animation is in this area, this event is fired. Actually, I have added this attack move event notifier in all the attack animations in relevant places. So that fires this animation event, notify event, and this one calls using the BPI character interface uh, and this reference which I have created uh, this attack move function so here is the interface it's attack move and it's under yeah under moment and I have implemented this uh, first I'll show you how where did I get the reference to this one it's here it's uh, under the begin play I cast get the pawn owner and cast it to a character and yeah so when I call the BP attack move here so I'll open my ch human character and I'll show the attack move event so this one so this is the attack move event and here what I am doing is I uh, add an impulse to this capsule component uh, sorry uh, to this uh, character movement component and I am adding that impulse in the forward direction of my capsule it's uh, this is all actually that's all so when I call this event due to the impulse that I add here an impulse magnitude is you can define it when you call this event and I add the impulse and also I add a camera shake event as well so I play this camera shake event so that there will be a little bit of a shake to emphasize the moment and that's all so I hope that would be clear and I'm sorry for missing this part so this is how it works in action all right so that's all for this episode it is, it is as I said this is a quick episode and let me know if you have any questions and right see you in the next episode goodbye